Welcome back to AV Veterans Talk, and we're continuing our conversation with this week's guest, Jeff Sheldon. So, Jeff, you got to got that score, you know, mm-hmm. our, our your your uh, entrance score. You scored high yep. in uh, technical fields, obviously. Yes. Because you went into uh, the field of intelligence. Yes, I did. I was a intelligence specialist, naval intelligence, uh, and you no no. Boxy more on comments. Oh, okay. No, I'm not going to say anything. I would never say anything like that. So, uh, <laughs> so your your tech school was was where was that? It was in Damn Neck, Virginia. Damn, Isn't that Neck. an odd name for a Damn Neck. Virginia. They had some strange. There's a place called Witch Duck, and where they actually, I don't know, it's not real military, but back in the uh, in the settler days, they had a little area where they right by the ocean, and if they decided somebody might have been a witch they had this like teeter-totter deal and they had a little swing seat on the end of it and they'd put her under mm-hmm. and if she she drowned then she was okay yeah but if she lived then she was a witch she so was that, a witch. that was right near where i <laughs> went to spy school wow uh go now was this a naval facility the oh, uh, it, damn neck was yeah it was so it wasn't like i know in the in the air force we some of the guys that went off to the we ended up on army bases mm-hmm. for like aerial photography and things like that they had a better school they uh, um yeah they had uh, continuing school mm-hmm. that were they were department yeah they were joint commands but. right so uh, how long was that tech school or how long were it you it was uh it was close to a year a year actually yeah it was a tough after um it was the hardest school after the nuclear engineering mm-hmm. school. Yeah. So. Well, and I could imagine, uh, I'm trying to think of, you know, I, once again, I'm a wingnut yep. mechanic. I work on things, you know, and it, we, our tech school was very hands on, mm-hmm. mechanically speaking. And it'd be, you know, an intelligence school, you know, when you would go to school, I mean, what were they teaching you? You know, was it, was it spies? Well, we had like a, us. Or, or I, was I, it? it was more money penny than James Bond, but uh, they okay. um, it was a bunch of light tables. One one really neat thing I got to have another piece of history. At the um, I don't know how much longer they were able to do it beyond my class, but we had instructors in there that worked on the Cuban Missile Crisis. Mm-hmm. So that yeah. was just amazing. That piece of history oh, yeah, that was yeah, there. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, it was just a bunch of uh, light tables and microscopes. Wow, rolls of film cranking back and forth. And so, uh, you know, once again, there's always that uh, need to know mm-hmm. that we had in the military, and uh, of course, your classification was probably up to what, top secret? Oh, above couldn't, that, you couldn't get in the building that I worked in with the top, top secret. secret. Yeah. So it was, uh, uh, what do they say? The the upper uh, beyond yeah. top secret SCI SCI. Yeah. So, so uh, we go in. You go into the foyer. Mm-hmm. You show your badge to whoever's on watch, and then they had a turnstile. So you'd swipe your card, punch in your code. One person was allowed to the turnstile. Turnstile, and then uh, you'd go to a door, which was the entrance to the skiff, the facility where they kept all this stuff. Slide your card again, punch another code in, and then to get into my office. I had to do a third swipe in code, and then they had a retinal scan. Wow. And the, the building was amazing. There was no windows, and it had an outer wall, and then it had a one-foot void, and then an inner building within that, and they piped white noise all the way around in the void right. in order to keep eavesdropping at bay. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, working in that type of an environment. Uh, it was basically like working in a cave. It was pretty much. Yeah, you, there were no windows. Like no. I said, no windows to that building. No. Right? Wow. And uh, so this was during the uh, lead up to Desert Storm. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I bet you the uh, the chatter and intel really oh, started picking big, up. Especially, I was at the. Uh, it started out when I first got there. It was called the Fleet Intelligence Center, Europe and Atlantic, and then it became a joint command. And that was the Atlantic Intelligence Command. So we covered Europe, we covered the uh, Baltic Fleet, Soviet Northern Fleet, and the uh, Black Sea Fleet, and then the Middle East and everything. So it was it was insanely busy. In wow! And uh, the people you worked with, uh, uh, I, I guess, and once again, it's the intelligence community is. Uh, 
you know, I always think of this one scene in a movie where they show up in their bathrobes. Yeah. But, but uh, you know, they were that mindset, uh-huh. you know, type of thing. Oh, we had them. We get when I was in spy school. I don't, I don't know how I got through all this stuff. It didn't. I, I guess they ignored what they figured was odd. But yeah, uh, during the week when we'd go to our regular classes, we'd have to wear uniform and everything. But then on the weekend, if we wanted to come in and study, we yeah. could wear civvies. Right. So I would make a point of wearing this Chairman Mao hat that my mother got me, and I'd walk up and down the halls whistling the Russian national anthem just to see if anybody would do anything. And <laughs> nope. <laughs> Of course not. Jeez, that's so good. Uh, that's just they didn't great. know what to do with me. They didn't know what to do with you. We still don't know what to do with no. you. No. So, um, anyway, uh, we'll continue this and stuff. And we'll take a break now. And uh, when we come back, we'll, we'll continue that, uh, talking about a little bit of history of that. Because this is intriguing to me. Oh, I love and stuff. And hopefully we won't give up any trade secrets. Oh, no, no. And, and nobody will be knocking on my door. I know what not to say. Okay. All right. We want to keep Aerotech News. My name is Sheldon, not Snowden. Okay, there you go. (laughs) Great line. (laughs) We'll come back right after the break. I'm Bob Alvis, and thanks for joining us for this segment of AV Veterans Talk. 